Hey YouTube! So I'm back with a makeup tutorial video. So as you guys can see, I look a little different, but you can't guess what's different. So I'm like kind of going for like a skater girl, like kind of look, like um, emo kind of look. So today I'm gonna do like I've been experimenting with my makeup. So today I'm just gonna do like um, an emo tutorial because like I, I was talking about it on my bunnies page on Instagram, and like I was trying out this filter, and it was like the makeup was like emo. It was like the Bride of Chucky like filter. And I was like, you know what? I actually really, really like this. I'm gonna try it on myself. And voila, I tried it on myself and it actually came out really cute. So this is gonna be different. You guys know I'm a princess, but I'm kind of weird. Like, I'm a princess, but I'm also like a hot topic ting, if you know what I mean. It just depends. I, I be real like just in my zone. I'm in my zone, I'm in my zone. I be in my zone, so. We're gonna go see how this looks. If it's ugly, we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna discuss it at the end. If it comes out ugly, if it comes out cute, I think it's gonna come out cute. So let's get popping, let's get to the video. So I'm like debating if, let me move this out the way. I'm like debating if I wanna do my face makeup on camera. Because this is like, I'm probably just gonna do the same face makeup I do. Sorry, I do every time. So, I'm, I'm not, this isn't really gonna be a face makeup video. So I might just speed through that and just show a little bit. So I'm just starting with um, some concealer. Um, I use concealer as foundation and then I'm gonna go on with highlight. I'm just using, you know, a lighter highlight. I'm gonna blend that in with my beauty blender and yeah. Now I'm gonna contour. This is going pretty fast, but I wasn't trying to focus too much on my face as I said before. And I'm just doing my eyebrows. I use eyeshadow to do my eyebrows. I, you know, showed you guys in another video um, how to do it. And I'm just brushing that powder off of my face, the setting powder, the loose powder, off of my face. Now I'm using this old, old Lime Crime palette as <laughs> eyeshadow and I'm mixing two colors, a red and a pink for blush and like the goth look I feel has like more like a dollish blush, like a dollish gothic kind of vibe, you know what I mean? So like my biggest issue with like this makeup, like I've been trying to do it for like the last couple days. I'm just gonna go in with red eyeshadow and like whenever you do a smoky eye, it's always good to use a red. I don't know, it just makes it pop. A red, a purple, a blue, anything. And I, I'm pretty heavy. Like, as I was saying, my biggest issue with this is like, I be trying to be conservative with the makeup and it's like, no, you are trying to be a goth skater. Yeah, you need to be extra, okay? Goth people don't be conservative with their makeup. They, especially the eyeshadow and the eyeliner, you layer it. So with this, I'm just using the red, I'm adding more, I'm trying to like make sure it's deep. You know, just whatever you think. If you're a beginner, I'm a beginner. So I really can't be giving advice. Just do more. Now I'm mixing the red like outer shadow with um, pink just to make it like even pop even more like this. Dragon Beauty pink is very, very bright, uh, vibrant. So it's going to like stand out. So I'm just going to show you guys like how that came out. Um, it's not really like blended that good, but you're gonna put black on anyway. So, you know, that's thing about another thing that I realized with like the gauze stuff is that like, at least kind of like the grungy kind of like skater look I'm going for. It's also like a little like not perfect in a way. 
I can't really explain it. It's just like not like perfect glam. Now there are some goth glam tutorials and people who do that, but like, I feel like the look I'm going for is not like super duper perfect. It's just kind of like, I don't know. Like it's more dramatic than perfect, if that makes sense. So I'm just packing on the black. I like to lick my brush a little bit. I don't know, I feel it like when I dip it into the black shadow. I'm using the smoked Urban Decay palette, it's very old. Um, because I feel like it makes it more vibrant. I don't know, I feel like it makes it stick to your eye better. I probably should have used concealer for my eyes, but whatever. So now I'm just taking this Dragon Beauty, the, the black color, and I'm adding it on top of my lid and yeah look at that that's that's the finished product of the shadow now yeah we're gonna line our waterline with a black pencil liner and here we go with the main thing the liquid eyeliner you need your eyeliner so actually you take i was watching a tutorial about this girl i forgot her name but a good thing to make it more dramatic is to actually put liquid eyeliner underneath your eye. <gasps> like not on the waterline, but like underneath, like really close. And then, yeah, now I'm just going to go in with my wing. Like, I wish I could show you guys more, but it's just really hard for me to like show. It's like not really a tutorial. This is more just like a transformation, just a makeup video. Cause y'all can't even really see. I was trying to do it on the other side, but it didn't even show. So uh, I'm sorry. So you know what's also really cute? Moles. I actually have a, a, a natural mole. It's kind of hidden cause I put makeup on, but I actually do have a natural Marilyn mo uh, mole, whatever they call it. But um, I'm gonna like do like it way more dramatic and way more gothic, way more whatever. Um, some people put it under their cheek. That's cute too, but I'm just gonna do it where my where my natural mole is. And then of course, mascara. Now I'm just adding my lashes. I don't have the brand of these. I am no help. Bad makeup tutorial person. I'm just trying to show you guys like what it looks like. So like I wasn't gonna add, do this. I almost forgot, but I'm just adding a little bit of this white shadow from the pal from the Nikita palette to my um, inner corner just to like make it pop a little bit more. And I wasn't gonna do this either, but I'm adding highlighter because let's just stop being lazy. And now my favorite part, the lip liner. Like when I first tried to do this tutorial, I, I literally didn't have a, a red lipstick in my house at all. So I actually, I'm sorry, I'm gonna line my lips with a black lip liner. This is just like some $3 hair store lip liner. Like, but I actually didn't have a, bla a, a, a black lip liner or lip pencil. I literally bought this like two days ago. And when I first did the emo makeup, I like used just my pencil, my black eye pencil. And then I like literally like created lipstick with like eyeshadow. I like scraped my red eyeshadow from my Lime Crime palette. And I like dipped it into my lip gloss. It was just hard. I used my lip gloss brush and I like put it on my lips. And it was, I mean, it worked kind of. But yeah, here it go. It's cute, it's cute. And this was the finished product. That's it. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. And actually, it didn't take me that long to do. Um, This is so sexy. It's different. Like, I don't know, like, look, this is like the finished product. No. 
Oh my eyes and shit. I put too much makeup on. But yeah, this is like the finished product of my emo skater girl look. What do you guys think? I was trying to be like different. I think it came out cute. Hold on, look at my hair, hat hair. Definitely made my hair lay down. And so I know they be having like their hair like kind of like this. This is my real hair, so I don't really want to like damage it. So yeah. This is it. This is the finished product. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah.